Welcome back to the channel. We have a freaking episode for you tonight. Look at all of this freaking stuff. This is so insane. Probably the biggest jackpot that we've ever found in our entire lives. So much, so much expensive stuff. But before we jump into any further into this episode, if you guys want to be part of the 20,000 subscriber giveaway, click the first link down below in the description. Go ahead and sign up and get your entry. Make sure you're subscribed and head on over to the website and you will be entered for the 20,000 subscriber giveaway, which we are including that Amazon Fire tablet that we found the other night guys we have a lot of stuff to go through as you guys saw in the clips i didn't get clips of everything because it was pouring down snow but we had a blast finding all this stuff it was a lot of fun so anyway make sure you guys are subscribed go ahead and join the dumpster squad by smashing that subscribe button click that notification bell for new episodes every single night and nicole is going to go through all this stuff with you because she is just obviously way more knowledgeable than i am so without any further ado guys let's go ahead and jump into tonight's episode all right guys so i'm going to start off with all the chocolates and like cookies and all like the little snack parts we found so freaking much and i can't believe like none of this stuff is expired yet a lot of it doesn't expire till um 2019 and then some of the stuff doesn't expire till the end of this year so i'm going to go ahead and start over here we found two of these little cookie kits it's got like the cookie cutters cookie dough and um the icing unfortunately i couldn't get a price on that because they completely covered it with the little red clearance uh stickers but that's okay then we found a whole bunch of these little mini like chocolate assortment boxes and they were all i think i got the price on this one there you go 7.99 each absolutely insane we found four a ten of these and they got like different types of little wrapping papers um they're all like the same type of seashell looking chocolates here's like a little snack kit it's got some cookies pretzels little candies let's see i uh, can't tell you the price on that but this is like a nice little gift box too. Here is another box. This was $12.99. These are really nice chocolates. Um, I can't pronounce it exactly, but that is the name right there. And this was $12.99. We got some other big box chocolates. There's another little cookie ornament kit. This is actually really neat. And I believe these were $9.99. 
$9.99 or $7.99, one or the other. Then here's some more, a whole bunch of chocolates. And then look how nice these chocolates are. This is like a whole big set. And they're imported from Italy. Let's see if I can peel this off so I can tell you guys the price. I did get it on one of them. Let me see. Actually, hold on. Let me see if it's in the uh, the box in the kitchen because we actually started eating one of the boxes. So these box of chocolates are $56 a box. That is absolutely insane. And like I said, they're all made in Italy. I guess maybe that's why. But there is, um, that's also the brand to it and the smaller version. But that is absolutely insane. So here's some more random little chocolates. There's like a little hot cocoa kit, a little chocolate bar, some mixed little mints, like a little macaroon little kit, little mini Santas. Here's some more. Then we found these really cute little plates. We found two of these dog ones. And one of these little Christmas ones says made in Great Britain. Here is also another really big box. And this is really cool. This is the 12 days of Christmas, but they're all candles. And it's got like the whole little song, like the potridge and a pear tree, two turtle doves, etc. So I guess like you burn one of these each day, I guess when you go into the countdown. And let's see, it is $14.99. Here's another box. Then over here we found like a little, um, like a pot holder. It's like that ceramic so you don't burn your table or anything. And then over here we have three little like gift sets. These two outer ones are for dogs. And then this one is just like a mixed set of like popcorn and stuff. But these are so cute. Like this has got like a little stocking. It's got a little metal tin. Let's see. Uh, no price tag on it, unfortunately. But it's got like little dog treats. This one's got little poop bags in it. It's so cute. But that is literally all of the chocolates and little snacks right here. Absolutely insane. So moving on to all like the smaller home decor stuff. I'm really excited about all these candles. We found so many of these candles. I absolutely love candles. I'm definitely going to keep these two. And let me move this out of the way real quick. There we go. So they're like that birch material and it says compared to $55. And it's really, really super heavy, super pretty too. And then here's like a little smaller version that's got packaging on it. Oh, there's a price, $24.99 for this small one. That is insane. I guess it's like that expensive because like the type of birch that's on it but here's two little like medium sized candles and it was $14.99. A really tall like sparkly one. There's a tall green one in the background. And then we found two little LED like candles. Here's like a rose gold looking one. And then just like a plain white with like gold glitter on the bottom. And then over here we found another really tall red one. It's got like half of its glitter. Here's a little Christmas tree. And then check this out, guys. It looks like a giant, um, what do you call it? Um, ornament. So it's like, it looks like one of those really old fashioned ornaments, but it is a giant candle. We were trying to figure out what it was and why it was so heavy. We thought maybe at first it was chocolate, but it is a really big candle. And it was $39.99 compared to $56. And it's not even like broken or anything. It's still like perfectly wrapped. It just toppled over a little bit, but it is so pretty. And then here is the brand's name right there. Super excited about that. And then over here in this corner, I kind of had to like pile everything. We found like a little jewelry box. It's glass feeling. And then just like a little cupcake little display. Oh, it's a piggy bank. Never mind. It's a little piggy bank. That's super cute. And then over here, it's just like a really heavy, tall, like glass. Um, like it kind of looks like like the handcrafted blown glass Christmas trees. And then check this out. This is a giant, like one of those tree skirts. I think they call them tree cuffs now. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. But it's made of like that wicker material and it's got like a white, green, red, and blue design. Let's see. 
think that is either $39.99 or $29. It looks like, no, this was $39.99 for this. So like what this is, is instead of having a tree skirt, like when you put like the feet to the tree, you stick the feet in and then you put that around it and then you actually just stick your tree on top of it so you don't have to see like the little ugly part that, you know, makes it obvious that it's a fake tree, but it is really cool. And then we also found a random little kid's toy. It's like one of those light up, um, like art kits. It kind of reminds me of like those light brights, but this one, you actually have markers to it. So you can draw on it. I guess like you just press a button and it clears and it lights up. Really cool, definitely like that. Um, let's see. Ah, I can't tell you what the price is on it, but that's okay. And then moving on, let me move this candle back up here. We found one random thing from Ulta and it's a, this makeup palette. It is a tester. That part broke, but I'm gonna easily fix it. I'm just gonna re-crush it and then repress it in shape. And I think I might do the same with that one. But it's got like the whole kit in it. It's really nice. But anyways, moving back into the home decor stuff, we found this really pretty like metal kind of like paper bag kind of candle holder. That's what it looks like. It reminds me of one of the brown bags and it's like got a cut out, but it's made of metal and it's pretty heavy too. Looks like that was $12.99. Oh, Maya, get out of here, sweetie. Let me sit down for you guys. Okay. Then we also have a really pretty like picture. It says Noel on it. Can't tell you what the price is, unfortunately, but the glass is intact. It's a little bit dirty from because it was snowing and we were sitting the stuff on the ground before we put it into the car. And then over here we have a Cuisine R Evolution Molecular Gastronomy Kit. Not exactly sure what this is. It's got a DVD and a little booklet to it. So I don't know like if it's meant for like food or plating food. Not exactly sure with it. I'm not really familiar with a lot of science stuff, but this is really neat also. Let's see if I could tell you. Looks like it might've been 1999 possibly. I can sometimes see through the red stickers like with half of it hanging out, but that's what I'm guessing it is. And then check this out. This is insane. It is a shoe cleaning kit. It was compared to 30, so I don't know what the store price was, but it is an entire, like, oh, here's the brand's name. It's a four piece barrel shoe kit. And come on, shoe shoe. Uh, I can't get it out. Oh, there we go. So it's got like the brushes, I guess like cleaning solution and some special like cloths, I guess to dust it off. That is really cool. Definitely, this is definitely gonna come in handy because I have a lot of um, shoes that require to get clean constantly. So this is gonna be perfect because I actually needed something like this. And then over here we have like a little, I don't know how you would describe that. Like, um, it looks like a Rubik's cube, but it says it's a tricky tile puzzle. So not exactly sure what it is. Then I also have a snow globe. We found a couple things from this store, not much, but I'll point out which it is. A lot of the other um, stuff is at what you guys see from the very popular store, but it was $12.99 and it is a snow globe that is also a stocking holder. We found two of these little picks. They were $5.99 a piece. So you can put these like into your flowers, into your Christmas trees. It doesn't matter exactly how you use it. Then here's a really pretty like hand stitched ornament. It's $3.99. Got a little notepad that says naughty and nice. $2.99. This is really pretty. It's a really big um, kitchen towel. So let me try to open this there we go so it's like one of those christmas flowers super pretty it's just like the little part where you can hang it on a hook broke off but it's an easy fix you just sew it um it was 6.99 and then these two things are dog scarves i actually tried to put one on murphy and he kind of went like dog atonic <laughs> he just wouldn't move and then he fell over and just kind of gave me that look like get this thing off of me so unfortunately they can't use it but um I know someone that has, you know, like a smaller dog, smaller than our dogs. I would definitely like to use this because they like to play outside. But um, 
it tells you the size here. Uh, I can't tell you. It says compared to 10, so it must have not been too, too expensive. Then we got a Christmas stocking that says Mrs. Looks like $7.99. Really pretty. I tried to see if we could find the Mr. One, but we couldn't. But maybe, you know, someone might just need that one piece. And here's a little dog sweater. This would be perfect for Murphy because he's getting a haircut soon. It is compared to 13. A lot of this stuff, as you guys see, has been marked down multiple times. So you could definitely tell that they've been trying to get rid of this stuff. And it was probably just like, all right, we're just going to toss it into the dumpster. But guess what? Now it's at our house. And I love every single piece of it. I am so excited about all this stuff. Um, this is another stocking, oh my god, for $29.99. Never really heard of this brand, but this is really nice. Like, this is actually, feels like it's hand-stitched, but maybe, you know, it's like probably made on a machine, but this is really thick material, too. Very, very nice. And we have four ornaments. There is just two of each set, and they are all glass. Really pretty ornaments. I couldn't tell you exactly what the price is because they were just sitting like this. Um, these were in a different one with the other two broken, so I just stuck them in here. But look at that, like, mercury detail to it. It's super pretty. Move that out of the way. I'm going to scoot on up. Over here we have, like, a little um, party set. It's got dessert plates, dinner plates, beverage napkins, and lunch napkins. Really pretty Christmassy design to them. And they were $9.99, which is just perfect. I was actually going to buy these when um, Christmas was over because everything's usually like 50 to 75% off but when I went to the store they were completely sold out because I actually have one very very similar to this design and I needed another one for a party that we were having but unfortunately I couldn't use it so this is definitely going to come in handy for next year so I'm definitely looking forward to using them and then look how pretty this is this is a soap dispenser it's an angel it actually was never used and the soap's still in there I was quite surprised because usually, you know, a lot of places dump it out. And it looks like it's like hand painted, super glittery, really pretty too. It says compared to $16. And that is the brand right there. And then also got a pack of envelopes, like little Christmas cards and envelopes of like scenery. My hands are kind of slippery. Um, it was $4.99 for 16 Christmas cards. That's pretty nice. We have the big Christmas quiz. I almost had like a little tongue twister there. But I guess it's like a little card game. Yeah, 80 game cards. And it has different types of games right there. That will be really neat for like if you have like a really big party or have a lot of get togethers. You know pull these out and have a game night that's super cool definitely like that and then this stuff this is insane absolutely crazy i didn't even like they sold knew they sold this brand it, hello get out of here just gotta sniff everything but anyways i didn't know that they sold this brand at the store and when we were pulling them out, he's, um, Mr. Daily Diver was like, oh, look, it's ornaments. And I looked at the name. I said, oh, God, these are really good ornaments. But it is by the brand Wedgwood. And this is My First Christmas 2016. And they aren't even broken. So let's see. Compare at $30. But look at this. Let me see if I can refold that. This was originally $58 if they sold it in, like, online or in the store. And then, you know a lot of these home decor stores buy out like extra extra um you know products that they probably don't sell or don't use out of season stuff but this was originally $58 that is insane and then we also found a first christmas together 2016 one it's got a little hole right there but this was $50 and it says compared to 20 oh so this one was $14.99 i can't tell you what the um my first christmas is and then we got a couple more small things to go through before I move on to all of this really big stuff. So over here we have found a big roll, big burlap roll of ribbon, and it says Believe. It is 10 yards, handmade in India, and it says, what is this, for decorative gifting. I was thinking about possibly putting this on our Christmas tree for next year because I completely 
got like brand new ornaments for our tree after we found that flocked Christmas tree because I was dying to have a tree like that. So I thought, you know, let me just get all new stuff, see what I can do. But I think I'm definitely going to use this for the tree next year. And this is really pretty. Look how much ribbon that is. And what's good about it is that it's not going to shed. I put a little safety pin right there. Um, it's not going to shed either because, you know, if you cut burlap, it usually tends to um, shed pretty bad. So let me see. Go back in there. There we go. It's back in there. And you know what? Let's go ahead and jump right into all this stuff. I'm going to start off with the stuff on the floor before we move on to the stuff on the wall. And you guys are going to see my most favorite piece that we have found at out of like everything that we have found this is my most favorite piece i'm going to show you last so um going on to the floor here is also from the store right there i told you guys we only found a couple things and it is this really big um garland piece i was about to say burlap really big um big garland piece god i'm like twisting up my words today but anyways it was 24.99 for it and it's all like silver and white super pretty so we scoot that out of the way and then we found this really big like decorative metal ball um the one piece of metal came off right here but i think it would be pretty easy to fix maybe i might try some like e6000 or something um probably could fix it or i might even just like cut it to be honest because it's not too too like it's not too bad or you know what maybe i can just like oh there we go i can just set up just like that but anyways um if I can grab it, this was $14.99 for this. And I like how it's like that dark, distressed kind of looking metal. And then over here, I am super excited to use this for next year. We found this really nice centerpiece. So a lot of it was missing, like the little picks and the greenery to it. But what I was thinking is that I have um, a get, shoo shoo, get out of here. Anyway, so what I was thinking is that I have a lot of leftover Christmas flowers from a couple years ago and a lot of greenery pieces. So I was thinking about possibly just taking all of this out and redoing everything. Um, it's got two little candle holders right there and they just slide right in there. So that's what I am thinking about doing. I don't know 100% yet. Maybe I just might just fill them in. But anyways, I like how it's got like that distressed wood, really like country look to it. And this was $49.99 for it. Let me stick that back in there. Oh, Maya. Excuse me. Out of here, miss. Anyways, this is super pretty. I'm definitely going to put this on our dining room table for next year, for the next holidays. Definitely like that. And then we found this really pretty, like, um, I don't know how you would describe it. Like wine, wine, um, like wine vine, <laughs> something like that. I know, like, the, um reefs are made of some type of um oh it's grape vines that's what it's called grape vines so they're grape vines um like reef right here and it's got all this really pretty glitter to it really like really really glittery as you guys can see it's gold and it's got like some white and silver specks in it and this was $24.99 and then the other reef that we found is this also like really different I've never seen anything like this before but it's green and it's got like gold flakes, like gold leaves. I can't tell if these are real leaves or not. They kind of look like it by the way, like they're breaking easily, but it's super pretty. That is the brand right there. Oh, it was handcrafted in the Philippines. And this was, it looks like it might've been $19.99 or possibly $10.99 for it. Really pretty. And it's very, very light because it's got like that styrofoam material to it. So I am guessing that this probably is like real leaves because as you guys can see, it looks like it and it looks like they just put some wire to support it. But anyways, that's really, really nice. I forgot to show you guys these two things. They were sitting on top of Murphy's cage and my back was against it the entire time. But anyways, we found like this little wood chopping block, kind of like display block and it's got wood and a marble material to it. If the light can pick it up, there you go. And it's by that brand right there. And then also this really cool looking um, like wooden basket type of material kind of thing. But anyways, it reminds me of one of those giant like crab baskets, fishing baskets. And it's got a little chalkboard label right here. And the price tag was 
And then there's two little random pieces to some of the things that we found that I just stuck in there that I got to re-glue or re-put in. And then also the last thing in this little basket is two more of these catapults from the $5 and under store. It was just like randomly sitting in the dumpster. So I don't know, maybe if someone just like grabbed some and didn't want all of them and just tossed it in there. But they are two more of them. And then we have this really nice like wicker kind of natural wood Christmas tree and it was $49.99 you guys can see it's got some gold in it super pretty and also this sign that says Feliz Navidad unfortunately I can't tell you how much it was because the um all the clearance stickers are all over the place so I can't tell what the original price of it was and then over here this is really cool too I just have to fix it up it is a white basket, like a wicker basket, that has a ton of these little floral picks in them, like Christmassy looking ones, and it also lights up. I just gotta re-put it back in the shape because when we were taking it out of the dumpster, we kind of knocked a good amount of pieces out of place. So I'm thinking about, I might just take everything out and then reposition everything the way I might like it. But you guys can see it's got like little cranberries. Um, I think this might be like eucalyptus or something. Um, pine cones I was gonna say acorns but this was $59.99 for that definitely like that then over here we have like a natural wood Christmas tree this is one of the pieces I need to glue right there but it reminds me of like that driftwood kind of material it's got like fake snow on it and little snowballs and this was looks like might have been $39.99 possibly and then in this corner, we have this really cool looking Santa. Look how neat he is. He's all hand carved and hand painted. I believe it is from India. Yep, right there, made in India. And let's see, can I, oh man, get a price on that. It looks like it might say $59.99. Yep, this was $59.99 as well. And that is the brand right there. It says like how it's all hand carved from the best wood. It's got a little crack right there, but that's okay. I really, really like this Santa Claus. You could definitely tell it took a lot of time to possibly make this. And then the last thing, my most favorite thing of the night is this reindeer. Look how pretty this is. Super nice. It came in three pieces. It was actually in two different dumpsters because they had two dumpsters. The head was in one and then the body and the antlers were in another. But look, it's got like that rusted kind of material to it. And then also a steel looking material. At first, like, cause we only saw like this little portion. I thought it was a vase. So I told him to pull it out. And when he was pulling it out, it got bigger and bigger. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, why, why does that look like it belongs to something? And I was like, oh, this is for the head that we found in the dumpster beforehand. So I ran and grabbed the head and then we put all the pieces together, but this is super nice. I absolutely love this. And it's all like that metal, really, really pretty. Oh, I cannot wait to use this next year, but I think I peeled it off. Yep, this was originally $149.99 and it is by this brand and they have like a little website right there, made in China. But this is super pretty. We found a ton, and I mean a ton, of Christmas stuff. I cannot believe it. You guys definitely have to check out your local stores near you because around this time, they usually start throwing out all their Christmas decor that they no longer can sell or use or keep in storage. But this is insane, guys. Absolutely crazy with the amount of things that we found. Literally, to me, this is the best dumpster dive that we have had so far out of all the episodes that we have done out of all the furniture and everything i just love decor and i am in love with this deer it's almost like a little bit shorter than me but i love this deer but yeah guys this is going to conclude this night's episode if you are new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join the dumpster squad and please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and tune in tomorrow night for another episode you got it.